just finished my appointment and I'm gonna go see my friend Jess for dinner tonight. We're gonna celebrate her birthday, so I'm gonna get her some flowers. I just got done with my hair appointment at Alchemy Hair Salon. It is Saturday and I'm doing sort of like a reset um, weekend. So I'll film like what I'm up to and everything that I'm getting into. So I just got back from my trip to Panama like a week ago. So there's still like a lot of catching up that I need to do, like fixing my house, cleaning my clothes, organizing, getting settled. But you know, cause you, when you go away on travel, it kind of disrupts everything. But I just got my hair done. I usually get a gloss, um, a toner. This is my natural hair color, but I refresh it and I color some of the grays with my stylist, Jeremiah. He is incredible. I love him so much. I trust him with my life. He's gonna do my hair when I'm married. Like he's the best. So I will link his information down below if you wanna book with him. This location is here in Colesville in Silver Spring, but my appointment's wrapped up. I'm going to go see my friend Jess. It is a week after her birthday, so I landed on Sunday and she celebrated with her family. So we are going to go out tonight to celebrate now that I'm back in town. And I just picked up some really pretty roses for her. You can kind of see the, the garden roses that I got. I love the ones from Trader Joe's. Like, look how beautiful those are. And I really like getting flowers online for, like, more special occasions. But the ones from Trader Joe's are really nice quality, I have to say. These ones live for a really long time. I got her pink garden roses, so... I'm gonna bring those um, when we go to dinner tonight. And I can also show you guys what I got from Alchemy. I had to restock on some of my products. So I usually don't get Orbe, but I couldn't resist. Um, I really like Orbe products if you haven't tried them. They have the most luxurious smell and the quality is amazing. I got the beautiful color line. So this is the conditioner. And then I got the beautiful color shampoo. And I really like it. It lasts a long time. You really only need a small amount of this and it lathers really well. It cleans your hair, but it doesn't strip the color that you put in your hair. Cause I, I do my best to maintain my toners and like I do stretch out when I do my appointments because I can't come in every four weeks as much as I'd like to. I try to come in like every six weeks or so to do my roots when they grow out, but my hair has been growing a lot. So that's why I came back. It was about to here in July and I do have an undercut that I am trying to grow out. Um, I got an undercut because when my hair was that short, if I were to leave the hair as it was in the back, it would look like a shelf, like it would stick out. And we didn't want that because I have a lot of hair. I don't know if you guys can tell, I have a lot of fine hair, so. Yeah, I am not sure if I want to keep growing it out or not. Tell me what you guys think, because I really want to know like what you guys think. If I should keep it this length, if I should grow it a little bit more. I had it like maybe closer to my waist, like to there, when I had it cut, like cut cut a few months ago. But I do like the short hair. I'm just not sure like what I want to do with it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. But I do have to get home, it's like 2.44 and our reservation is for five. So I gotta go so I can get ready and figure out what I'm gonna wear. Hey guys, it's the next day. Um, as you guys saw, I went out with one of my girlfriends yesterday for her birthday, we were celebrating. Um, with some drinks and some food. It was really good. We went to Aventino in downtown Bethesda, which is like kind of like an Italian Mediterranean type of food place. And I'm on the couch right now. I just woke up not too long ago. It's a very great day, but I am going to go to the gym right now. I'm going to do, um, not Pilates, uh, it's called body pump. I'm going to do a body pump class and start to sweat and work on my core a little bit, get moving. Later today, I am gonna go to church, but in between all of that, it's gonna be a big day of like getting my life together. This apartment looks 
insane. Like there's just crap everywhere. So I'm gonna spend the whole day organizing, cleaning, and also getting more groceries for the rest of the week because I did run out of a few things, but I will show you guys what I get into, but I figured I would catch you guys up. I'm running late, so I'm gonna finish doing my mascara in the car. But I love this Alpha Elite sweater, I have to show you guys. And then these leggings are from Hay Nuts on Amazon. I will link them down below, but they are so comfy and they feel like a blend of the Lululemon Aligns and the Wonder Unders. I just finished my workout and I got a smoothie from Robex. I haven't been here in a while. I usually don't get smoothies when I go out because of all the added sugar, but this is the peanut power and I added whey protein to it. It tastes really good. I have no idea what the macros are for this, but I figured I would get something because I'm about to go to um, Whole Foods and I don't want to be hungry while I'm shopping. So. I'm going to pick up a few things that I need and then head home, but the workout was really good. I got, I think I might have misspoken in my last um, clip before this. I think I might have called it body pump, but I took a bar class instead. And this is like an Ignite bar class that has props. So we use light dumbbells and we use um, some like resistance balls. So it was a really good class. My arms are really shaky. I'm like trying to hold the camera steady, um, but it was really good. I worked out my glutes, my core, my upper body balance, everything. It's really great. So I've been really enjoying those classes in between weightlifting. I think I've mentioned it in like previous videos, but like I'm trying not to only do weightlifting because I don't want to neglect smaller muscle groups or my balance or my flexibility or my mobility. So it's been really beneficial to do weight training and incorporate other fun class exercises and I've been like even though I don't talk to all the women that are in my class it's nice to be surrounded by other women and all be working together towards a similar goal to be the best versions of ourselves so anyways it was a really good class and I'm gonna take care of my grocery shopping and then head home and I will show you guys what I get into but really the plan for the rest of the day is to clean up my house and then head to church a little bit later this afternoon Hey guys, I want to do a quick haul of what I got from Whole Foods, but I want to show you guys this cute bag that I have. I love this bag from Chase Business. It has like a cherry blossom thing on it, and then on the back it says Chase Business. I got this while I was at an event for Chase Business because I had just recently launched Cafe Sola, which if you don't know, I have an online retail store um, where I sell candles and 10% of the profits go towards St. Jude's Research Hospital, so I will link that down below. I'll show you guys what I picked up. Um, it was kind of like random things that I needed, but um, I guess with the first one, I got these eggs, but have any of you guys seen that apparently Vital Farms, they claim to have like pasture-raised eggs, but they're not. So I didn't want to buy them because if they're not pasture raised, I'm not going to pay a premium. So I just got these. These are like free range organic ones. I don't know. Do you guys have any recommendations for where I can get pasture raised eggs? I know that sometimes Trader Joe's has them, but I need like a brand that I can rely on. Anyways. Next, I talked about these on my TikTok. They are amazing. These are smoked salmon. It almost looks like it's raw, but it's cooked. These are amazing. The seasoning for these is so good. I, I eat the whole thing. It's in one serving, it's 25 grams of protein. I mean, you can obviously like make sandwiches or whatever with this, but like if you just want straight protein, this is really, really good. Love this. This is just my Lululemon bag. Next, I picked up some berries. Fruit, I don't, I try not to have too much fruit because of the sugar, but berries are are okay to have so I like these organic strawberries next I picked up more cottage cheese uh oh it looks like maybe the strawberries started dripping that's not good gosh 
making a mess. Um, it's like all over the cottage cheese. That's weird. Okay. I got these two packages of good culture cottage cheese. I usually get the whole milk one or the double cream if I have it, but they haven't had good cottage cheese in a while. Like I only have ever tried good culture and they weren't selling it for a while. It was like unavailable. It was like sold out, but I decided to get this one, even though it's low fat, I'd rather have the nutrients from the full fat milk, but this is really good on toast. And speaking of toast, I got this pumpernickel bread. They sell this if you go to Whole Foods near the frozen section where they put the bread out on the shelves, not where the bakery is, but where the bread is on the shelves and it's usually on the bottom. I love this. I put this in my toaster with some butter and it gets really crispy and buttery and delicious. And I will slather on as much cottage cheese as I can. And then I restocked on these. I've shown these in other videos, but these are espresso shots. They have the Pete's brand, but these taste the same and they're a lot cheaper. More house essentials, dishwasher packs. I actually forgot to get a few other essentials like, um, what is it? Parchment paper and aluminum foil, but I'll just have to go back another day, but I got the dishwasher packs. And then to go with the eggs, or sometimes I'll, I'll eat this alone as a protein snack. I bought these chicken apple sausage things. Let me see how many grams of protein. Three links has nine grams of protein. So it's, it's a nice way to like have a snack that satiates you and is savory. And then the last things that I got, because this was again, like a pretty small haul. I think I showed these in another video. I might have, I'm not sure. But these are grass-fed steaks. I got a New York strip and a ribeye. Easy. I like the ones from the butcher, but they're so huge that I find these are like the perfect portion to eat them at once. But let's see, how much did all of that cost me today? $110.34. Let's pray, you guys. Let's pray that something happens with our economy so that we're not paying this ridiculous amount for groceries. I'll probably end up cooking something now because all I've eaten today is one slice of pumpernickel bread and I had some yogurt and that's me. So I'll probably make a steak that I've had defrosted in my fridge for a while before I head over to church. It's still a few hours away, so I'll make that now and then probably have something a little bit later tonight, but I will keep you guys updated with what I'm up to. Oh, oh my God, hold on, completely forgot. I also got some things that came into Amazon. I forgot that I needed to show you guys that. This is a random one. More seafood. Um, I, I like getting these Toninos. Let me open it so I can show you guys. I like getting these uh, tuna fillets that come in a jar. I just find that they're really easy and I buy them in bulk on Amazon. They come in a pack of six. This is what they look like. They're tuna fillets in olive oil and they're really good on their own. You can make a salad with this tomato avocado or you can do like a typical tuna salad with like mayonnaise and some nice seasoning so I buy this big bulk pack on Amazon it comes in six because the ones that they have in the Whole Foods store are a lot more expensive if you were to buy them individually and then this one I have never okay <laughs> I've never ordered like a, a ridiculous bulk order of oat milk. I'm trying not to show you where I live. I like dairy products. I don't have a dairy allergy, but I do like oat milk in my oat milk lattes. And I know it's not healthy for you because of all of the seed oils, but okay, this is like my one treat. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this ridiculous packaging. Oh my God. 
I need like a thumbnail of this. Okay, well, I got this. This is the Minor Farms, or no, Minor Figures oat milk. Oh my gosh. Let me see if I can open this up. I got a, a box of this so I don't run out because I hate running out of oat milk when I make my, my matcha lattes. This is so extra. Oh my god. But it looks like this. Look at this little bird guy. I like it. And they were organic, whatever. They're not that bad for you, I guess. Oh no, they are. They have sunflower oil. Great. But I like it. This is what I use in my oat milk lattes, in case you're wondering. But whole milk is fine. I just prefer the taste for my morning treat. So that is it. I forgot about what I got from Amazon, but that's what I got. I will keep you guys updated with what the rest of my day looks like. And yeah, we're going to go to church after I organize this house. I, I literally am having you guys in a corner because it's embarrassing how my house looks right now. So we're going to get to work. We're going to make some food and get our lives in order. I wish I had better lighting to show you guys because it's so gloomy outside, but I am about to go to church and I wanted to show you my lip combo. I am wearing this lip liner from NYX in the color Espresso and I put it on the outside of my lips and like a little bit smudged into the corners. And then this is my go-to. God, I need a new one of these desperately. This is the Clarins Lip Perfector and then this is in the shade six. So I really like it. I think it looks so good. And I wanted to show you guys before I go to church, I just put a little tiny bit of makeup, not a whole lot. I'm trying not to show you my house because it's a mess. I just got back from church not too long ago, but I did want to conclude this vlog because it is dark outside and the Sunday scaries are kicking my butt because there's so much to do in this apartment still. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video of me getting my life together or, or somewhat getting my life together. Um, it was fun to film, but I do want to hear from you guys what you want to see from me from future videos. So definitely leave those in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.